Hello everyone, I'm Mark Sondras, and today I wanted to talk about how to create a word cloud using Magic ETL, um, breaking up a sentence or phrases uh, in a text field into individual words so that you, you can build a word cloud off of. Um, the Domo has some documentation on how to do this using MySQL, but uh, it's challenging, a little problematic, and takes a long time to run. So uh, with the help of Jay Wilson, the idea, able to put this together, and uh, I want to show you how I went about doing that. So to start with, my data set looks a little something like this. Just I have trimmed it down as far as number of columns that I'm dealing with just for this demo, but just going to have a unique identifier. And then this is my uh, cause field. It's got where I've got phrases in here, multiple words that I want to break up and try and find the most common words in here. So to do that, using the formula tile, I'm going to do a few different things here. So on that lost cause field, I'm going to use this function called squash white space. And what that does is we'll, it's a combination of trim and eliminating multiple um, spaces inside in between words. So if someone went a little crazy with the space bar and had multiple spaces in between words, it would just reduce it down to a single space, as well as trimming in any extra white space on the front or the end. Then I'm going to create a, a length field uh, to figure out how long my uh, phrase is. And that you can see here in this example, this is uh, 19 characters long. And then there's not a, a way to uh, kind of say, hey, how many spaces are in a phrase? Uh, in a string. So that's why we're doing this length and then we're gonna do one without any spaces. So we're gonna use the replace function to replace spaces with nothing and then do the length off of that. And you see when we take that out, this example here, then it's 17 characters long. So then we can do the math off of that, taking this string uh, length field and the string length no space field and say, okay, that's two. So then I know there's two spaces in there. Then I'm just setting a constant that I'm going to use here on this future join, uh, just doing a one. So if you if we run a preview here on this, we'll show, show you what this looks like with a few more fields rather than just this one. <clears throat> That's going to help us uh, figure out how many spaces there are and uh, utilize them to kind of break this all apart. So you can see it like this one, it's 25 characters long and then with no spaces, it's 21. So there's four spaces in there. See, this is a single word. There's no, no spaces in there, which is kind of important for us to realize when you see here in a future function. Uh, this one just has one space. So you get the idea on that. Then we're going to join this. Uh, we're going to join it to, oddly enough, the, the calendar field and we could use really anything if you want to upload something. But what I was looking for was uh, something that I'd be able to have a, a running count on. And I was kind of uh, pretty strong sense that there is not uh, a phrase in my, uh, date, my data set that has more than 365, 66 spaces. So I thought, well, let's leverage the calendar data set one, we're just going to filter it to one year. Um, so I don't need all the years that are in here. So if you're not familiar with the calendar data set, that's a, a built-in uh, data set in the connectors. If you look for Domo Dimensions or Calendar, you'll uh, come up with this. And it's got um, a preset um, set of dates kind of for going for a long range, 2010 to further and breaks this up. It's really handy for a lot of different things. but this is kind of probably you can use it for what it's not intended, but I'm going to extract the day of the year after I filter to uh, a single year and then get um, that number. So then if we go to preview, we'll see here if we go over to the end, we're going to get our number. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see that going all that's going to go down to 100 and, uh, or 365 rather. 
And I'm doing a minus one off of there because as you saw in the other tile that, you know, when there's no spaces, then we're going to have a zero. I need to account for that. So I'm going to subtract one from the day, day of year. So I start with zero. So then just cleaned up. That just looks like this, that I've got my constant join key and my number column. And then I'm going to do an inner join on that and join on the join key so that, the, you know, we've got a one and a one, so it's automatically going to join. This is going to kind of explode our data set out and give us a lot of entries, uh, really more than we need at this point. You see COVID-19 positive, that it's going to have a lot of entries in here for, you know, one uh, unique identifier in here. And that's, that's okay. This explodes out to, I think in my case, like 14 million rows when I'm starting with 40,000. But then we're gonna filter that down. So here we're using the, the formula tile or the filter tile and then the formula uh, filter to say, hey, where the number that's this from this field uh, is less than or equal to the number of spaces that are in here. So then after that, then we only get, you know, two or three for um, the COVID-19 positive one. So now that shrinks that down. And so now we only have um, it joined the appropriate number of times for the number of spaces that we're dealing with in here. And then this is gonna allow us to then dynamically break this up. So then next tile over, we're gonna split this part. And the split part function is super useful. Um, you can read the uh, description here, but it's going to take a string that you have and then what you, what's the identifier that you want to split it on and it's a space uh, is what I'm looking for. And then here, typically you have a hard coded uh, thing. You're like, I want the first instance out of there before the space, or I want the second um, thing after the space. Uh, but we're going to make this dynamic that we're going to do the number plus one. So because if you want something, the first thing before the space, then you got, then it's going to be a one. So that's where we're dealing with those zeros that we have when there's no spaces. When you're, we're going to do zero plus one to get one. So we get the first part in there. So then if we see this one split up, you see COVID-19, you see positive, you see the hyphen that's in the middle. We'll take care of that a little later. But you see how that's uh, dealing with that. And you see here the that number, incrementing number from our calendar data set. We got the zero, we got the one, we got the two. Here we've got the zero, one, two, three, four. You see how that's breaking, breaking that up. Now uh, we've got that and you could essentially be, be done, but uh, I didn't want some of the um, kind of nonsense words in there. So I'm doing another join and I've got some escape words and I just used uh, the Domo web form data set. You could do an Excel file upload if you wanted to, but some common words I know I don't want to be shown in my word cloud. So I listed them out here. I even have some symbols like the ampersand or hyphen or slashes in there. Those are all listed in this that I'm going to get rid of. And I get rid of those by doing a left join on this with my big data set of all my words to the word, the escape words data set. And then when I, then I can filter to see where escape words is null. So when it didn't find that word in the data set, then I'm gonna keep, keep that. So if we look at this preview here, for example, we're gonna see a match here said okay it found that hyphen here it didn't find anything so these are the ones that we want to keep so we're filtering to where escape words is null and so then that goes out and then we output data set now maybe final cleanup i would probably throw in a select columns uh, tile in here to just really produce the uh, columns that i really care about trim this down a little bit further but uh, for kind of demonstration purposes, I didn't, but that then results in a word cloud that looks like this with meaningful words, all the junk words kind of tossed out and uh, those phrases uh, now broken up. You see COVID-19 is separated, uh, pandemic's probably in here somewhere, but then this breaks that up. And what's interesting one, this runs really fast and see this 
small data set, but still 48,000. Um, and if we let this, you see this running in just 16 seconds to process that. And even with that join where we're exploding that out, really it didn't, didn't affect the overall. You see here, if you look at the details, you see potentially at one point we're in like 14.8 million, but still cruises through Domo's Magic ETL is just super fast and allows you to uh, go through that. So you know, when I do a fuller data set, I know this will run uh, really in a minute or two, uh, but hopefully you found that helpful um, and, and useful. And I think I'll be planning to put this in and practice in a few more spots. So uh, again, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.